Hey guys, welcome back to Popo's Woodworks. Today's project, we're gonna be doing a hat rack. I got like a little small spot in my bedroom and my wife's getting tired of all my hats piling up on the dresser and laying everywhere because I got a lot of hats. Although, I wear this one all the time because this is my favorite woodworking hat. This is the one I wanna screw up. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do one. I got, show you, I got this piece of 12 inch wide piece of scrap laying around the shop. So I'm gonna take a table saw and rip this thing down, probably four inches in thickness and drill some holes through it and then cut some angles and we're gonna make us a hat rack. So that's gonna be pretty simple. And if you're just gonna go out and buy the wood to do this, it'd be pretty cheap. You can probably buy an eight foot one by four by eight. They'd probably do the whole thing for you. So we'll go ahead and start getting this thing together and hopefully it'll start making sense here in a minute. All right, for the ones that want to know the measurements, I got the table saw set up at three and a half. So that's how wide I'm gonna rip the boards down. I don't really know how long I'm gonna do them yet. I figured I want at least eight hats per side to give me 16 total. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing ripped up and we'll move okay. on along. This is what I've got so far. Now I went ahead and found center, which these are, these are three and a half inches wide. That means it's an inch and three quarters on the center. And let me get this pulled out. I started at just one end and came down to three and a half inches. So basically what I did is I stayed at three and a half inches all the way down. Everywhere, as you can see here, everywhere that a line crosses is where the hole is going to be. I'm going to be using an inch and three quarter Forstner bit. And so basically where that, that's going to be my center point to where I start drilling my holes. And now I'm going to go ahead and get that set up in the drill press and go ahead and get these holes drilled out and we'll move on along. All right, I got all the holes done. And in the video, you can see where I drilled in this way, and then I poked just the tip through, then I flipped it over and finished the hole on this side. The reason I did that is because my my Forstner bit that inch and three quarter, I use it all the time, and it's pretty well dull. I need to buy a new one. So I did it, and as you can look, I did it because I didn't want any tear out around the hole. And it takes a little bit longer, but that one little extra step is worth saving those two pieces of wood. These two pieces right here are cut down to 12 inches wide. Like I said, I got a small spot to put this in. And the overall size of this is 30 inches. So it's gonna be 30 inches long, 12 inches wide. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and figure out how I'm gonna cut the angle to these where the hat's gonna fit in and then run them over to the bandsaw and cut them out. So let me play around with that and see what I'm gonna do. And then once I figure it out, I'll show you. All right, so this is gonna be the angle that I'm going for pretty much just like that now what i'm gonna do to make my life a lot easier is this is the scrap piece that just came out of there from cutting it so i'm going to use this and i'm going to line it up just like it came out as you can see i have the corner find my finger i have my corner right here at the edge of that line that was left over before i found center so i'm gonna line that up and i'm gonna draw lines on each side and i'm gonna go ahead and pre-mark every one of these using that that way i know they're all going to be the same and it'd be a little bit easier. I couldn't tell you what degree that is. It's just one I thought that would work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut out and we're gonna see what it looks like. This is what they look like after you get all those little pieces cut out of it. So basically, that did work using that little chunk, keeping it even, because they do, they look, do look, you see they line up, they do look pretty good. So now, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the backing to hold it together. So just bear with me and then I'll be right back. A little something I figured I'd add. As you can see, I went ahead and rounded this over with a quarter inch round over bit. As you can see the difference. I think it just makes it look, just makes it look a little bit better, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and route that one and round over those edges and then we'll go ahead and get started on the backing plates. All right, so I went ahead and cut the back plates. Basically, this is what the way they're gonna work is, and the top I just did, just did something simple and easy where it just wouldn't be so plain and straight edged. But 
basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the glue and I'm gonna shoot this in and this in with brads, then attach the other rail and pretty much it'll be done. Once the glue dries, that thing ain't going nowhere. So let me go ahead and get them shot and I'll show you the finished product. Here's what it looks like finished. Like I said, this is quick, simple, easy way to make yourself a hat rack. So all thing I got left to do now is stain it. And of course I'll have to stain it with the dark walnut to match everything else in my bedroom. But that's it in a nutshell. And the way I'll mount this to my wall is I'll probably just either put a screw above this. That's why I left this and just screw directly into my wall through here. Or I might put some little hanging hooks on the back side of that to anchor it to the wall. Because it's, it's not going to be holding a whole lot of weight. And matter of fact, the thing itself doesn't weigh that much. So it's just going to be holding hats. So that right there is it. Now all I got to do is stain it. Here's what it looks like after it's been stained completely finished, as you can see. So the hat's just pretty much just wedge in, as you can see. This is a very easy build, very little bit of lumber. But oh, let me show you this too. You can also take it and just stick the bill of the hat in there and wedge it with the bill that way. I kind of like it because it's easier to get in and out. The only thing I'd do different if you was going to do it by sticking the bill in, I'd make this gap right here a lot thinner. That way it'd give the bill a little bit more of a bite to hang on to, but that'll serve my purpose right there, whichever way you want to do it. But that's it in a nutshell. I hope you liked it. Very easy to do. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And like always, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Like and subscribe.